my physician's formula, two-in-one eye boosting, lash boosting, whatever, this one, the lash, the, the liquid liner. Welcome back. Today we are chatting about all of the makeup I took with me to the beach when I went on vacation this past week. Basically, I needed to unpack all this shit and figured you guys could do it with me. I know most people do these videos before they go, but I was sick, so I didn't have a chance. And then I figured this way we could see what I actually ended up using, you know, like how I ended up using the makeup. It's not a lot of makeup. Everything you're gonna see is on my face today. I am definitely more of a low-key vacation type of person, so it's nothing fancy. It is all drugstore. I think there's only one high-end product in here as well. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you love makeup and cheap shit, you were in the right place. Go ahead and hit subscribe so we can see you here next time too. Let's start with foundations. I did not take any primers. I actually did not pack these before I left. I stopped at the drugstore on the way there and picked these up because I had just finished a foundation that I like and I have one other foundation at the moment I've been testing for probably a couple of months now that I just don't like and I'm tired of using it so I wanted to get something new. I say new but these are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. These are an old classic. I haven't used these in probably like a year and a half at least, but I remembered always really loving them and wanted to give them a try again. I did get both because my favorite way to wear these is a combination of dewy and smooth and matte and poreless. I have mine in the shade 110 porcelain for both of them. Just know that they're very different. The matte and poreless is much lighter. They do also have lighter shades now as well. I feel like my perfect shade is somewhere in the middle, which is another reason why I like to combine these two. This is just such an easy foundation to wear. It just looks like skin. It doesn't look like you you have a bunch of shit on your face, but it gives a pretty solid medium-ish coverage, which is perfect. And I've been wearing this on the whole vacation and ever since I got back, these are amazing. Of course, I took my color corrector, my LA Girl Pro Conceal in light yellow because I basically never do my face without it. And then I took two concealers. For my face, I took my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in, okay, they changed these. They just came out with a whole new range and like new shades. Mine is in Fair 5, but it's no longer called Fair 5, this shade. I don't know what it is called, um, but can you guys see? Like I've, I've almost used this up. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it or not. I really do like it on my face, not under my eyes. So here's my question. Do you guys have drugstore concealers that you like on your face, like for acne? Because that is what I need. I do like this one. I might pick it up, but I also am open to trying something new. And then under my eyes, of course, I took my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in 005 Light Natural. One more base product and then we will get into the more interesting things. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I've talked about it a million times. I'll probably talk about it a million times more because it is that good. Absolutely love this powder. It is the only powder I use anymore. Will definitely repurchase when I use it up. I have mine in this shade Fair. I did not realize until I was on vacation that everything in this bag, almost everything in this bag was drugstore, but I shouldn't be surprised because that's just, you know, the kind of shit that I like. But the one thing in here that's not drugstore is from The Body Shop and it is their Honey Bronzer in 01. I've kind of been reaching for this guy more recently. It is such an oldie, but a goodie. I like it because it is the perfect matte bronzer for pale skin that warms up my face without looking orange. I used a dual fiber brush with it so that I can just kind of like go crazy and I don't have to worry about it looking insane. So good, I've had this for years, years, and it is still going strong, absolutely love it. And then the one blush I took to pair with that one is my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Tender Rose. All of this is shit you guys have seen before. You've also seen the fact that I just broke mine and that's how it opens up, um, but, I love the combo of these two products and it's what I was reaching for basically the whole month before I even went on the trip as well. It's a mostly matte blush. I mean, it's not flat, but it doesn't have any sort of shimmer in it at all. It just really adds some rosiness to the cheeks without being like a super bold blush blush color, if you know what I mean. Now I did take a highlighter, but I only wore it as eyeshadow, so we're gonna wait for a minute on that. As far as eyebrows are concerned, I took three products, one of which mainly for the spoolie. So I did bring my e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe, which is one of my favorites, you guys know, but I just wanted the spoolie because what I've been using more often recently is the Koki Precision Brow in Ash Brown. When I did my big roundup of drugstore brow products, I talked about how much I liked this one, but that I really, really hated the price tag and would not repurchase. But here's the thing, you guys, I've been using this almost exclusively since I made that video, what, a couple months ago or something? And it lasts forever. Like the product is pretty stiff in the pencil. So I never find myself having to like wind it up. Like I feel like 
it might not be such a terrible value in the end. I do think they're more affordable things that I would repurchase more often, but I do really like this one. I hate, hate that it does not have a spoolie on the bottom. I mean, it's like a $10 brow pencil. They can just stick a spoolie on the other end, which is why I brought this one along as well. And then for a brow gel, I bought my Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel, which is my favorite brow gel. This one is pretty much empty, so. Should I try something else? Will you guys let me know what you think I should try instead? I've tried something from Maybelline recently that I really like, but it's not so much, like it's more of an all-in-one brow gel product. It's not like a finishing touch for my brows, if you know what I mean. This does have some like filling properties, but like not a ton. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations. I know some of you guys like the L'Oreal one. So maybe I will try that next. Okay, for eyeshadow, I brought my Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. Anyone surprised? No? Talk about this one all the time? Yeah, because it's really good. I like it. Here's the thing. I was only on vacation for five, four, four days, five nights, something like that. And I think I wore this twice. It was just too much trouble. I just, I, I, it was too fussy. So while I'm glad I had this, what I did most days, what I did today is use my bronzer on my eyes. I would either use this all on its own or just kind of go in with this one first, which is what I did today, and then go over the main part of the lid with my highlighter. I brought my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow, another thing I've talked about recently, but I literally never put it on my face. I only wore it on my eyes. I just think it's a really nice, easy look. You don't have to do much. And you know, when you're just trying to get out the door because you wanna go eat dinner somewhere, but you don't wanna get like all dolled up, it is perfect. The only thing I packed but never wore was eyeliner. This was the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner plus Serum in Ultra Black. Very important, you have to have the Ultra Black. Um, it's just a brush tip liquid liner. Love this one, it's the same as the Jessie's Girl. I love both of them, but I just, like I'm not in an eyeliner phase these days. I don't know, it's like, can you tell I'm lazy? Because it's just, it's like, enough, something else is too much trouble, so I didn't wear it, but you know, like this didn't take up too much room, so I don't feel too bad about it. The mascara, however, I do want to talk about because you guys, these, I know, I am late to the game. I know everybody's been talking about these mascaras forever, but I didn't try it until my friend Sam sent these to me, the Essence Lash Princess Mascaras. Okay, so I have both the Sculpted Volume Mascara and the False False Lash Effect Mascara. And my favorite way to wear these is to layer them together. So if I had to pick one, I would say I like the Sculpted Volume Mascara more. It has a curved wand and it does kind of help curl and open up the lashes a little bit more. I like to go in with this one first because I feel like I can get into the roots of my lashes more and kind of get a little bit more volume that way. And then I go over the top with the False Lash Effect Mascara to give it a little bit more length and just kind of like va va voom -ness. On its own, the green one, the False Lash Effect, Keep getting the names mixed up. This one, the green one, um, not my favorite. It's okay, it's very lengthening, which I think is nice. Not my favorite on its own, but together, these are pretty good. The one thing I will say about these is that it is thick and it is kind of gunky and it just gets, you know when you pull the tube out and there's just sort of like gunky, gunk, mascara gunk, mascara thickness globby. <laughs> Clearly I left my vocabulary at the beach. Um, yeah, it's just really thick and you have to be careful with it. It can get clumpy. So I did take a lash comb with me as well, but if you're willing to kind of work with it, you can get a good look from these. And of course the price is right. So in addition to this bag that I showed you guys here, um, which by the way, was part of a Sephora kit. I got like last year, I got their sunscreen set um, over the summer. And I really like this for travel because it's like rubbery, which I don't know, my shit doesn't use, usually leak, but I feel like it would be better if it did. I also took a little smaller bag with a few brushes and like 25 lip products. I don't know, I'm very careful <laughs> with what I take with my makeup. And then I get to the lipsticks and I'm like, I don't know. And I just throw them all in my bag. I literally opened my drawers and just grabbed lipsticks and threw them in my bag, but I only wore one the entire time. So that's what I'm gonna show you. And it is from Estee Lauder. Ooh, I guess there were two expensive things. Um, in this. Anyway, this is their Pure Color Love Lipstick in Crazy Beautiful, which I'm very proud of myself for saying that right. Did I get it right? Yes, Crazy Beautiful. I always try to say Crazy Love, but it's not Crazy Love. It's the Pure Color Love. Anyway, it comes in this fancy packaging. I got this when it was half price at Ulta, probably like last summer or something like that. And I just have not reached for it much recently. I was starting to think that I really shouldn't have bought it, but it's just a really pretty kind of cool toned pink, neutral, but 
a little bit of color lipstick and it is super super comfortable in a pinch i can apply this without a mirror which is good when you're just kind of on the go have it in your purse or something like that and i've been loving it it has that vanilla lipstick scent, which I don't mind. It is not strong. It is an oddly shaped bullet, which I think is supposed to make the application easier. But honestly, for a lipstick, this formula, I think it's the cream version. Um, it's really creamy and it's not super, it's not a bright color. So I don't really need any sort of fancy bullet, but it works and I like it. And I've been wearing it since I got back as well, which has only been a couple of days, but just, I've just been embracing my more natural-ish naturalish makeup that you know uses like 25 products all right so before we wrap this shit up i wanted to say thank you to all of you who've been reaching out and wondering where i am i am here i am alive i am back i am sorry i was gone for so long what happened is that before spring break i was super sick i mean i'm okay but like it was rough it was like a couple weeks where i was just really really sick and then we went on vacation and so i just like ran out of videos to post for you guys until i got back now that I am back, I'm gonna do my best to get back onto my normal filming schedule, but please be patient with me because I'm out of videos. Usually I have like three or four videos in the wings waiting to go up, and I think by the time you're seeing this, it's the only one still that I've been able to film. So it might take me a little while to get back into the groove, but I'm very glad to be back, and I miss you guys when I'm not posting videos and we don't have this time to hang out together several times a week, so don't worry, I won't be leaving you anytime soon. All right, that is it. That is all the shit I took with me on vacation. Let me know. Let me know what you would take to the beach if you were packing a makeup bag today so I can get all of your recommendations as well. And I will see you guys here very soon. Bye. I almost forgot to mention, and Tuck just reminded me by throwing it on the floor, that the major problem with this foundation is the packaging because it is glass, which makes me <laughs> I was gonna say, which makes me nervous because I break shit all the time. You guys, this, this is my real life. Tut, everybody has been missing you. You have to say hi. Will you say hi? You look at the camera? No? You're a good boy.